Hi everybody. Today's video is an allocation video for all 14 Labradoodle puppies from the Big Sky Litter at Van Isle Doodles. Hi, I'm Claire and today's video is going to be so exciting for all of our puppies plus our families. Our families have been waiting and waiting to find out which of these beautiful Labradoodle puppies has chosen them as their forever home. So today we're going to go through the 14 puppies in this litter and we're going to tell you a little bit about what each family was looking for in their Labradoodle puppy and then we're going to tell you about the actual puppy that has chosen them as their family. So let's get started because with 14 puppies we have a lot to go through. So our first born puppy in this litter is this pretty chocolate girl pink collar girl I know pink pink collar girl is going to be going to live with Chelsea and Jeff in Surrey Chelsea and Jeff were looking for a best friend for the two of them they wanted a puppy as well that was going to be good with other pets because they have a bunny and they have a seven-year-old dog named Kellen they also are hoping to be able to have a Labradoodle puppy that enjoys being on the water and going fishing with them. A puppy who shows a strong connection with their humans and a dog who's adaptable so that they're, she's going to enjoy going to their cabin and also having different caregivers. So Pink Collar Girl decided that she thought Chelsea and Jeff in Surrey were the ideal family for her because this is one very loyal puppy. This is a puppy who will establish an extremely strong bond with the people in her life. And she will be absolutely fine with having the in-laws look after her during the day. She is going to enjoy making friends with Kellen for sure. Mm, the bunnies, I'm not so sure what she's going to think of. Her only exposure to rabbits has been the ones that we have on our property, of which there are many, all of whom are bigger than she is right now. Uh, so we're not sure if she's going to think the bunny is really fun, but I know that uh, Chelsea and Jeff will keep the bunnies at a safe distance. And she She'll have a good time just looking at them, I think. This puppy really enjoys other dogs. She very much enjoys playing with her siblings. She is an extraordinarily gentle and affectionate girl. But she's also tons of fun when it's time to go and play. So when she's out at the cabin, she's just going to think that's fantastic. She's the type of puppy who enjoys different scenarios, a very good listener. So she's going to be an easy puppy to teach things to. And because she's so sweet and quiet, she's just perfect for living in the midst of the busy city in Surrey and she is not at all phased by loud sounds so we will continue in our Head Start program to desensitize her to all sorts of traffic sounds so she's used to the big city of Surrey when she's off to live with Chelsea and Jeff. Here you go Miss Pinky. That's a good girl. Next we have Green Collar Boy. Hi handsome. Look at that waggy tete. Hello. Green Collar Boy is going to be going to live with Becky in Victoria. <gasps> Becky was hoping to have a really nice sweet new companion who was thoughtful and a comforting type of presence and an independent dog who was also pretty chill and laid back. So Green Collar Boy, he said, I think that I'm going to be perfect for Becky because I absolutely love people. It doesn't matter to Green whether you are an adult or a child. He is just your real, genuine people dog. He is also so gentle, as you can see. He is similar to Pink Collar, who we just talked about, in his sweet, gentle way. No child or no person is ever going to be intimidated by this sweet little boy his way about him is always a very calm and very unassuming approach he is a loving loving boy and going walking and exploring together with Becky and her extended family well that's going to be something that's just right up his alley and that he enjoys very much to do He's so good with children that he's going to be just fantastic with Becky's nieces. They are going to just fall head over heels with Mr. Green Collar Boy. And his cuddles, oh, nothing is more comforting. Nothing makes you smile more than the sweet little love that Mr. Green Collar has to give. So that's Green, off to live with Becky in Victoria. There you go, my little man. There we go. 
Next we have purple. Hello, purpy. Purple collar boy is another one of the chocolates in our litter. Want to turn around and say hi to everybody? So then what a handsome face you have. And purple collar boy is going to go and live with Brad, Allie, and Madison in Courtney. This family was looking for a puppy who was going to bring love and joy into their family. And Madison in particular wanted a nice friend who she could snuggle with and talk to. So Purple Collar Boy, when he heard about that, he stepped up and he said, well, I absolutely love children and I can't wait to be a big brother and a best friend to Madison. And Madison, you are going to have a lovely big brother with this guy, but he will not do any of the yucky big brother stuff. He will always be good to you, always nice to you, and he'll never tease you or be a pain in the neck like some real human big brothers could be. He's a very observant boy, Mr. Purple Collar is. He's well aware when it's time to be quiet and when it's time to play. He knows when he should stop and listen and when you want him just to be comforting and just there to snuggle with or when it's time to go out and play and really have a good time. And he particularly knows when it's time to have a nice belly rub. This is something he absolutely loves to do. He is going to be a great listener for you, Madison, if you've got a story to tell him, if you want to talk about the day at school, or if you want to tell him that your parents are bugging you, shh, don't tell him. Then he will be right there to listen to all of those stories. This is a highly intuitive and sensi sensitive Labradoodle puppy boy, and he is the type of dog who's going to form a very loyal and strong bond. But he's not the type of puppy who is going to pick just one of the family members. He will be equally fond of all three of you. And he will adapt individually to each of you, and he will also be able to fit right in with everyone collectively as a family. So that that is our handsome purple collar boy off to Courtney with Brad, Ellie, and Madison. Hello, baby. There we go. Next on our list here, we have Dark Blue. Hello, sweetheart. This is our first sable puppy in the litter. And this very, very handsome boy is going to go to live with Angela, Dwayne, Lachlan, Callum, Piper, and Logan in Port Moody. Yes, that's where you're going, handsome. This family wanted a puppy to complete their family. They are a large family already with four children, exactly the same as my son's family, and who also just got a puppy. And they were looking for a puppy just to fill in the final gap there in that puppy to make everybody's lives complete. And they also, of course, need a dog who is going to be having enough love and understanding that he is in love with all six of the members of this family. It's a lively per, um, household, very loud sometimes, I'm sure. And so we needed a puppy with a big, strong personality. So Mr. Dark Blue Collar, he put his paw up right away and said, that sounds like my kind of family. This puppy absolutely thrives on children. He just thinks that kids are the best thing in the world. He has more than enough love, personality, confidence to go around for everybody. He will be able to love each one of the six of you with no problem, plus have some left over for all of your friends and extended family as well. He's got lots and lots of kisses. He is such a fun dog. The eye contact in this puppy is spectacular. He is very intuitive, a really observant puppy. He loves to sit, watch, and understand where it is you're at in your mind, what you're thinking, and what you need from him. And you'll see how he's constantly turning to give me that beautiful eye contact that he has. An active outdoor life with four kids that are a little bit older, that could be just nothing better in the world for our dark blue collar boy. A perfect match for a perfect family off to Port Moody. There you go, big guy. Oh, and look at who's coming next, yeah. Next we have light blue collar. And light blue collar is one of the two caramels in our litter. Hello, handsome boy. Well, actually, 
Let's get it right. Light blue is not a caramel. He has a black nose, so he is an apricot. And light blue is going to live with Celia and Thomas in Vancouver. Now, Celia and Thomas were looking for a Labradoodle puppy who would fit in well to condo life in Vancouver. They're hoping to have a family in the future, so they needed a puppy who was going to be good with kids. And they are first time dog owners, so they also needed a puppy who could fit that bill. And they also wanted a puppy who was going to be a really good influence for other family members who would learn to absolutely adore dogs as much as Celia and Thomas do. Light blue collar, what can I say? This is the sweetest little puppy, just a genuine little doll. He absolutely loves people and his approach to people is a kind, soft, sort of a very gentle approach. He's not forward and aggressive at all ever. He's very, oh hi, my name's Light Blue, would you like to be my friend? He waits for you to come to him and then he's just like, oh thank you for loving me. Very appreciative of all the affection that people can give him. He's calm and as I said he's gentle and he's also very quiet so absolutely ideal for condo life and he is not going to be at all concerned about living in a big city. This is a puppy who is not going to startle small children or young children. So Celia and Thomas, when it is time for you to start your family, this puppy is going to be more than ready for it. He will be by then a mature dog and he is just going to love your new baby or babies just as much as you do. And you see how he already is right here saying, um, I'm upside down. I just want you to love me. Can you rub my tummy? No forwardness at all in this puppy totally, totally submissive and always wanting to be loved. And you'll notice that very strong eye contact that he has. He's looking to me for signals, asking me if everything's all right. Is he doing the right thing? Because that's truly what he wants to do. He's an independent little fellow too. He's very well able to amuse himself. So he'll be fine during the day when you're working and he needs to just be a little bit on his own playing with his toys. And he's also going to enjoy your outdoor activities. Uh, Celia and Thomas enjoy hiking and snowshoeing. And of course, being around the ocean in Vancouver is something he's used to having been brought up on Vancouver Island. So he's going to enjoy being on the other side of the pond now. And cuddles, well, that goes without saying with this happy little light blue collar. Off to live in Vancouver with Celia and Thomas. Hey, go my handsome man. Next we have our other chocolate boy in the litter. This is our orange collar boy. Orange Collar already has a name. His name is Takoda, and Takoda means friend to everyone. And the reason why Takoda already is named is because this little puppy is a, going to be a stud prospect for us at Vancouver Island Labradoodles. We could not be more excited to have this handsome boy joining our program. Now, Takoda is, does not have his guardian assigned yet. We are in the process of interviewing families to be his guardian, so we're not sure exactly where it is he'll be living. But he will be living within a relatively short distance to the couch and valley where we're located, as is required for our guardian families. And the reason why we chose this handsome Mr. Orange Collar to be a stud prospect for us is not only is he, of course, absolutely stunningly beautiful, as all the puppies in this litter are, but he has a lovely temperament. He has a good level of confidence. He's outgoing, but he's also very gentle. He's the type of puppy who is going to understand his role as a stud dog and how important it is to understand the ladies when it's time to honeymoon and to be tolerant of their sometimes not so friendly ways towards the stud. This little guy also has fantastic structure and we are very proud to add Takoda to the Van Isle Doodles breeding program. Next on our list is Red Collar. Hello, Red Sweetheart. How are you? This beautiful sable puppy has the most unique look. She's just a gorgeous girl. Now, of course, all of our sables will not be like this at maturity. Their coats are all gonna change and clear out. Her face will become lighter over time as will her coat. And this gorgeous red collar girl is going to live with Leah, Steve, Piper and Macy and she's going to go and live in Terrace. Yes, you are. This family was looking for a family dog. 
kids are old enough now to enjoy and help with the puppy and they also enjoy all the wonderful activities that Terrace has to offer such as boating, camping and hiking. Terrace is such a beautiful location with so many outdoor activities to take advantage of. And also, Red Collar Girl is going to be able to go to work. Leah works as a forester for BC Hydro, and so she has the ability to take this little one to work with her from time to time. So we talked to Red Collar about that, and she put her paw up and said, you know, I think I would really enjoy living in Terrace. We told her all about how beautiful it is, and she really thought the idea of going to work with her mom would be right up her alley. This little girl is a lover of children. Children are her happy place. So Piper and Macy, you have a wonderful new best friend and another sister. But, you know, sometimes sisters argue with each other. You won't ever argue with this little girl. She'll be there always loving both of you and taking both of your sides in anything. Her happy spot is when she is with kids. This is where she is absolutely the most comfortable. So she is going to really be fond of you, Macy and Piper. She is just a, a wonderful family dog because of that characteristic. She has such a strong desire to be loved and she has so much love that she gives back so freely. She takes her time to decide about new situations. This is not a leap before you look type of puppy. This is a puppy who likes to sit back, look, assess and decide whether or not you're good enough for her. She's not snobby like that, but she does like to check you out first before she just indiscriminately feels that she's going to give you all of her very special love. Uh, we think that uh, when she goes to work with you, Leah, we really hope that she gets a really cool hazma, uh, has, uh, hazard vest and also maybe a hard hat and you can send us a picture of her in her BC Hydro garb. Uh, and maybe, you know, Hydro would like to use this little girl as their spokesperson, like tell us uses all their different animals in their commercials. Wouldn't that be fun? That would really be cool. This little girl is going to be just in heaven when the girls bring other friends home from school. If house is going to be full of kids with COVID rules being, of course, adhered to. And this little one is just going to have her eyes wide open going, holy cow, kids galore. Well, what could be better than that? This girl is calm and gentle and the type of puppy who draws a child out of themselves by giving them the confidence that she will always be gentle, sweet to them. Kisses, well, these are never ending with this little girl. And it's just amazing how when you have a puppy who understands children and how to be gentle around them, how that just brings a child out of themselves and gives them so much security and comfort and can make a world of difference in so many aspects in their lives. This is a lovely match. Red collar, off to Terrace. There we go. There you are, my little girl, full of kisses. Next we have Yellow Collar. Yellow Collar is also one of these beautiful sables and you can see how much different yellow is from red because every sable puppy is a little bit different. And Yellow Collar is going to live with Cornelia and Cornelis on Demon Island. Whoa, what a lucky puppy. Uh, Cornelia and Cornelis, and I hope I'm saying your name right, Cornelis, they wanted a puppy that was a lover of the water. Also a puppy who was going to enjoy going on fairly extensive road trips in an RV. A puppy with a sense of adventure, happy-go-lucky disposition, and one that would fit in anywhere and everywhere. So this little puppy, well, this is a quieter puppy and a puppy who just adores everyone. This puppy is, if you are a person and you're near me, I love you. The quietness is just ideal for those long road trips. There'll be no fussing by yellow collar and, and a need to get out every two seconds. He's not the type of puppy to be agitated at being in the RV for a long period of time. He'll just think that's great. He'll be like, holy cow. This is a really comfortable spot. I have both of my favorite people in the world right here. What could be better? And then we get out and every time we get out, there's something new and exciting to see and new people to meet. This is just gonna be right up Yellow's Alley. This puppy is, has an extraordinarily strong desire to please. He wants to learn, he wants to know what it is you want because all he wants to do is what you want. Full of kisses, full of love, full of cuddles. 
outdoor life living on the water on Demon Island is going to be an adventure that he absolutely thrives with. I am quite sure that it's going to be difficult to get this little fellow out of the ocean. He is going to be on the ocean and I am his quieter nature also lends in, um, him to be a good selection for paddle boarding and kayaking and other on the water activities that the two of you enjoy. Uh, and if you go to the Facebook owners group, Cornelia, and if you tag Gretchen, she too participates in many of the same activities you do. And her little puppy Skokie is very similar in temperament to Yellow Collar. And Skokie is just a natural in the canoe with her and kayaking and paddle boarding. So I think that uh, Gretchen will tell you that this is just the right temperament for that type of lifestyle. And I think it was going to be a little bit of a hard choice for Yellow to decide whether he prefers the RV road trips or being out on the ocean with his mom and dad. So that's our yellow collar boy off to Demon Island with Cornelia and Cornelis. There you go, my handsome boy. There we go. Next, we have another one of the chocolates, and this is Silver Collar. Silver Collar is going to go to live with David and Lisa in Nanus. David and Lisa are both retired. They were looking for some companionship. They enjoy going walking. They love going gardening. They also live on the waterfront and in Nanus with a wonderful retirement. And also uh, they have, uh, Lisa has her mom nearby in Parksville. So Silver Collar said, oh, please pick me. Uh, this is the life I want to have. A silver collar is a puppy who's totally unflappable. There is nothing that upsets this puppy. Not a worry in the world. He just absolutely loves life and everything in life, and it doesn't matter what that is comprised of. Whatever you can throw at him, he'll be like, oh, hey, I can find something fun in this to do. He is an independent puppy and entirely comfortable in his own skin. Outgoing, confident, and a complete lover of all people. He will become extremely close to the two of you. He is the type of puppy who will form that very strong bond. And when he goes out right now, when he's exploring, he loves to go out and check things out and look around, but he never goes so far that he can't find you. He stops and he turns around and checks in to make sure that his people are nearby all the time. And he is going to really enjoy making friends with Mocha, the French Bulldog. I've talked to him about that and he says, oh, well, it's not the same as a Labradoodle friend, but okay, that'll be all right, right? We talked about Mocha, didn't we? We did. And going to visit grandma in Parksville, oh, he's just going to love that. This is the type of puppy who understands different ages, the requirements different ages has, and he will completely know how to behave in an appropriate manner, whether it's a young child or an older person who is a little bit wanting a little less enthusiasm in their greetings and such. This is a terrific addition for retired life for the two of you, David and Lisa, out in the Noose Bay. Here we go, Silver. There we go, handsome. There you go. Next, we have Brown Collar Girl. Hello, my sweetheart. And Brown Collar Girl is another sable. And again, you can see she is slightly different in how she is looking in terms of her appearance. And my anticipation is that this little girl is going to end up looking very much like her mama, MJ, once her coat is cleared out. MJ herself looked very much like this puppy when she was a puppy. This little girl is going to live with Kathy and Greg in Souk. And Kathy and Greg are guardians. So this is our other Van Isle Labradoodle breeding prospect. And this is our female breeding prospect. And this little girl has a name too. And she has a really cool name. Her name is Timpana Shima Nosora. Oh my goodness, what a name. What does that mean? It means honorable island sky in Japanese. And she'll be named, she'll be known as Sora. We're not going to do that whole great big name thing. So it's appropriate because this is the big sky litter. Uh, I have a connection to Japan. And so we have this lovely name for her. And Sora is just a beautiful sounding name. And I think it suits this little girl. She reminds me of wide open skies. This little lady has a delightful temperament. 
She is very similar to orange collar boy, uh, Takoda. She's confident, but she's not pushy. She has a love for other dogs, which makes her a good candidate as a future mama. She is a very understanding, patient, and tolerant girl. And oh my goodness, she's fun. She loves to play. She's a great lover of the outdoors. She is going to be just thrilled to be in Souk and enjoying all of the activities in that semi-rural community that she's going to be living in. So that is our little Sora who is going, oh, and here we have Maisie making an appearance coming to say hi. That is Sora going to live with Kathy and Greg in Souk. Hi baby, there we go, there we are. Next we have our other caramel puppy from the litter. We have Black Collar Girl. Oh and I was saying that that was Maisie coming to visit but that was actually Spirit. She was looking to see where her mama was. Yes, uh, so Black Collar Girl is going to live with Katrina and Christopher. They are looking for a family dog that was going to bring some calm and joy into their life and also enjoy the various outdoor activities including camping that they like to do. This little doll, oh my goodness, have you ever seen such a cute little face? This is just the sweetest little puppy. Her little face and her expression just makes me smile every time. She makes you just want to pick her up and hug her because she's just such a, such a little living doll. She's a little bit like a stuffy. It's hard to believe she's a real living dog. Just a sweetheart. This little girl is happy to be with others or to be on her own. Either way is perfectly fine with her. She absolutely adores being outdoors. So camping and other outdoor activities are going to be right up her alley. She is just going to thrive in that environment. She's a quiet and very affectionate little girl. And this is a great puppy who will assimilate very easily with children in the future. She's playful and able to be good on her own. So when you're in, working in your home office, this is the puppy who is going to be quite content and not worry when you're on a Zoom call or a teleconference and that she has to look after her own amusement and entertainment. People are magnets for this little girl. This is a very, very social puppy. This is a puppy who it doesn't matter who you are, she's going to fall in love with you. So that's our beautiful black collar girl off to live with Katrina and Christopher. Next on our list, we have Peach or Tan Collar Boy. Uh, sometimes we call him Peach and sometimes we call him Tan. Hey, is that right? Is that what we do? Do we say, because this is the color of his collar and it's kind of tan. I think when he was little, his baby collar was peach uh, and his adult collar came in tan. Hi, yo, big eyes. This adorable fellow is going to live with Rebecca, Sean, Charlotte, and Sawyer, and Grandma Annie in Victoria. This family, this extended family, was looking for a family dog, a dog who would be calm and playful and of course, gentle with children. This little doll, oh my goodness, this little puppy steals everybody's heart. He just has the most lovely way about him. He's very similar to Black Collar Girl in that he is a quiet and gentle puppy. This is just an amazing match for this family. He is the most loving and adorable and such a fun guy at the same too. He's so gentle, kind, very tolerant and totally understanding. If the people behave badly, this is not a puppy who's going to be offended or angry about that. This is a puppy who's going to be, oh well, what can you expect? They're just people after all. So much full of fun. <laughs> he just makes us giggle so often when he's outside and never ending love. He absolutely adores children. And he too is just like having a living stuffy. It is hard to believe he is real sometimes with all of his amazing qualities. And he's just got that face, just like black collar. It's like almost, almost too cute to be true. Yes, it is. Having outdoor activities and playing games with the kids and having the kids have their friends over. He'll just think that is so much fun. And spending the day with, with you, Annie, oh, he's going to be snuggled up. He's going to be kissing you. And he'll be a great companion during the day. This is the type of puppy you can do whatever you want with during the day. If it's raining and you want to stay in and do something a little quieter, that'll be fine with him. If it's a great day and you want to go down to the beach and throw some sticks or whatever, that'll be just fine with him too. 
This is a confident puppy. He's quiet, but he has a very strong inner confidence. And this is a puppy who's a giver, not a taker. One of the very nice qualities you see in puppies, like our Peanut, she is a true giver, whereas our Ripple is definitely a taker. <laughs> different personalities in different puppies. So that's our handsome tan peach collar boy. Off to Victoria with Rebecca, Sean, Charlotte, Sawyer, and Grandma Annie. There we go. Next we have our no collar boy. So this is one of the puppies that was raised by Hazel so that we could uh, let Mama MJ survive with only having 12 to worry about. And this is the boy that went to live with Hazel. You got a little burr on you there. This little guy is going to live with Patricia, Olivia, Lucas, and John. They were looking for a puppy for companionship, fun and happiness in their family, and a bit of a change in their routine. And I can guarantee you there'll be a change in your routine. It doesn't matter what puppy you have. A puppy always brings lots of change and joy into your life. This is a playful puppy who enjoys being outside. He takes his time to assess situations. Sometimes he gets a little uncomfortable initially, but he very quickly warms up. And he will enjoy having an entire family to love him. That will probably bring him out of his shell completely in a very short time. But for now, if it's a new situa situation, he will like to sit back, just take a second, and then he'll be like, okay, it's fine. With uh, his family nearby, giving him that confidence and encouragement, this will not be any issue at all. Very affectionate. Outdoors is his happy place as well. He is a true lover of outdoor things. Going to Thetis Island is going to be something that he really enjoys. Thetis will be a place that he just adores being, as I'm sure all of you do as well. This is a smart puppy with lots of love to give. Off to live with Patricia, Olivia, Lucas, and John. Here we go, and finally, number 14, and for <laughs> this puppy, Madeleine and Justin, you've had to wait <laughs> through the entire video to find out that this is your puppy, no collar girl. Madeleine and Justin live in Victoria, and they were looking for a puppy to complete their little family and provide some great company for them. This little lady, well, my goodness gracious, she is one of the smartest puppies in the litter. She is going to be lots of fun to learn together with as she will catch up on the catch on to things so quickly. You can see that really strong eye contact that she gives. You can tell the level of affection. She loves to be touching a person all of the time. And you're going to have to be careful that she doesn't wrap you around her little paw very quickly because she is very intelligent. And using that intelligence to her advantage is something she will definitely do. Yes, you will. This one is, uh, she's a fairly independent girl, but she much prefers to have company. She is happiest when she has people near her and is part of what they're doing right at that moment. She's the type of puppy who's not hugely interested in doing a lot of physical activities. She's a little bit more of a homebody. So that's our no collar girl off to live with Madeleine and Justin in Victoria. So that's all the puppies from our big sky litter. That's like having two allocation litters, uh, two allocation videos in one with 14 puppies. We hope you're all really happy and thrilled with the puppies who chose you as their forever homes. Uh, we won't go into anything else in this video as this is the most exciting day next to pickup day. So we'll just leave it at that. And I'm sure you enjoyed the video. If you have a moment, give us a thumbs up. Please be sure to put any comments you wish below the video. And especially once you've decided, let us know and put in the comments what name you have chosen for your puppy. For all the puppies in the Head Start, which is all the puppies in this litter, litter except for two, uh, we will start using those names with them as soon as we hear them from you. Uh, they have already all begun their Head Start program with some good crate training and some leash work. Thank you so much for watching.